Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. Today we will take a look at the orientation in the georeferencing. You should already have completed the tie point extraction and the control point measurement. You can check this in the points tab and look if your control points have predictions and links and if you have no filter you should also see tie points that are predicted and also measured in your images. We can select in the UAS tab on the right side the orientate function. Calculating the exterior orientations is the main purpose of the georeferencing in photogrammetry. The X, Y, Z position for each single photo in the air will be calculated during this process. The method uses a bundle block adjustment. In this adjustment we introduce known information, which are our measurements and observations, and our unknown informations, like the positions of each single photo in the air. Additionally also we introduce the camera as an unknown because the camera focal length, the radial distortions and the principal point are not accurate given to us from a UAV camera. Therefore we want to solve these equations and also to calculate a better focal length, accurate principal point and accurate radial distortions. To solve these unknowns we need control points which will also be introduced into the adjustment. Perhaps in the future there will be cameras which are very well defined and have a very good camera calibration information already at the beginning. And then we could just run an adjustment which is here an option. But up to now we need always to run also a camera calibration which is done with adjustment with calibration. We are offering three different types of adjustment with calibration and I want you just to simplify it. If you use your UAV camera the very first time and you really don't have good information about it, which we expect you will always have at the first time, then please run the first approximation. We will try to get better information about the camera and then after the first approximation is successfully running then you can run in a second time the extensive one. If you use this camera already multiple times, you have already flown projects before, you have more information about your camera and you introduced already a focal length which is perhaps already within a range of micrometers, then you can run directly the extensive. The refine option is really only when you add manual measurements during your process. So you already have run the extensive calibration, but afterwards you added a few more control points, more tie points, and now these measurements you want also to influence um, the fine tuning of our camera, then you can run a refinement. In this demo data, we use a UX5 camera which we used in our office already for multiple other projects. So we already have a good idea about the focal length and the distortion values. Therefore, for this demo dataset, we can directly run the extensive. For the calibration and adjustment, we assume that our GPS values give us approximate exterior orientation values. Some clients, they even have very, very poor approximate information about the positions of their photos in the air. If this is the case, if you really know they are messed up the data or not so really really bad, then you can also switch off this parameter. In our case the GPS was still without within 6 to 10 meter accuracy, so I can use it as um, approximate values in our adjustment. But if you uh, are aware that your GPS is not very good, then it's worth a try to run the adjustment with calibration even without your approximate GPS values in the adjustment. 
Let's start the adjustment with calibration in Extensive. I click here the arrow and after the processing is finished, I will show you the result. After the adjustment finished successfully, you can see that both bars are green and you should have an entry mentioning project output is done. US Master uh, saves by default in a temp folder the results. You can find these results at C Users, then your login name. So in my case I'm Thomas Widmer, but if you log in on your machine with a different uh, login name, then this is your login name, then app data, local, temp, US master. And in this part here we have our project file, which is again here stored. We have the processes that are run, so our blunder detection, our camera calibration, and also our log file. So in case something fails or it's not working fine, you can always copy here uh, this uh, entry here in US master, zip it and then in case we can perhaps help you. Looking at the result will be part of the next video. So thank you very much for watching this video tutorial and see you soon. Bye!